Welcome back to the channel and I know the title from this video is going to have a few people raging, that's for sure. But hear me out before you do get too angry and bombard the comment section. Now, the reason why I'm saying that Paramount shouldn't release a trailer is I'm not saying that they shouldn't release a trailer full stop. But I think we all need to have uh, a moment of calmness here because I keep seeing it constantly. Where is the trailer? Where is the trailer? We want a trailer. Yes, we do. But we've got quite a long way to go yet until the Bumblebee movie is released. That's coming out in December of 2018. So, you know, we're in May now. So we've got a fair way to go. And the reason why I'm asking for some calm here and to think about this just a little bit is because if you cast your mind back to Transformers the last night, they had a massive marketing campaign and we had tons of trailers, small ones, big ones, TV spots. And by the time the film came round and was released, I'd probably seen about 80% of the movie before I'd even got to the cinema. And I'm not talking about, you know, small teaser moments. We got big money shots. For example, Optimus Prime taking out Infernicus. We also got to see how Bumblebee pulled himself back together in a transformation. Now, would it have not just been better to have seen those big moments on the big screen and left it to have been a surprise. I'm beginning to think so because I felt underwhelmed at Transformers the last night in my first viewing because I felt like I'd seen all the big moments. And it didn't matter that they put little twists on the trailer like for example, they changed the color of Optimus Prime's eyes so it looked like that he was still Nemesis Prime in the trailer but when you get round to watching the film, he's actually back to normal in his Autobot form. But, you know, it didn't matter. They'd already let me see that moment. So when I saw it in the cinema, yes, it's cool, but it's not as cool as seeing it first time on the big screen. So I'm beginning to think here that maybe Paramount has learned their lesson a little bit and are holding back, letting the dust settle of Transformers The Last Night because we know it didn't do very well we know that it hangs in the back of people's minds that this Bumblebee movie could be the same and then it will be disappointment. So there are quite a few things that people are worried about when it comes to Bumblebee the movie. And I think as well at the moment because Paramount are so quiet that's only adding to the panic because people are panicking now that they haven't heard enough or seen enough of Bumblebee the movie that they now think that the studio has no faith in this film and I've seen quite a lot of YouTubers putting it out there that you know this is a one and done and that Paramount aren't really interested in Bumblebee the movie because they're going to take Transformers in a new direction anyway and again I think that's quite short-sighted because I don't think that's the case at all I think and from the detail that's coming out recently that Bumblebee the movie is going to be the platform for the reboot. And it's a good place to start because if you think about it, what better way to start than having a standalone film with Bumblebee and then begin to introduce new characters. And even characters that we've seen before in Michael Bay's franchise because they don't have any history. Because Travis Knight can do away with all that because it's all in the future. So if that is the case, no wonder why Paramount haven't gone all out on this yet because they want to get feedback first behind closed doors, then they want to go public. And the way it's going at the moment is there's been a lot of positives from everything behind the scenes. We're hearing, you know, at CinemaCon, the sizzle reel went down really well. We're hearing details now that the trailer has been shown behind closed doors somewhere else. And again, it's sounding positive. So I think what this is again is Paramount digesting what they're getting because they're planning for the future. 
And if Bumblebee is the stepping stone for the Transformers reboot, you know, if it's all positive from here, it's a great start. And they don't want to tarnish that by going all out releasing big action trailers early, only to have the online community go out there and say this is just another Michael Bay Transformers style film. And I will say one final thing because I keep seeing online as well lots of Transformers fans worried about the franchise like it's done after Bumblebee. There will not be Transformers anymore on the big screen. Do not worry. I honestly believe that Transformers will be on the big screen again after Bumblebee. We already have indications that the reboot is coming. And whether or not it starts with Bumblebee, we will have to wait and see. But there's no way that Hasbro and Paramount would step away completely and push this franchise to the side. It's a big money spinner. And not just that as well, the fandom is huge. It has support, but they know to get the full support on the big screen, they have to get the movies right. They have to cater to all the audience. So this reboot, this time being taken to get things right is good. It's not something to worry about. I honestly believe that they're no way going to go and just go all out and put all their time and effort into a G.I. Joe when you have Transformers sitting there, a monster of a franchise. It just would not make good business. So for those of you out there that are worried, you think that Bumblebee the movie is the one and done and then we're never going to see Transformers again on the big screen, do not fear. We might not be getting a Transformers 7, which would have been the sequel to Transformers The Last Night, but we might be getting something just that little bit more better. So all that's left to be said is get involved in the comments section below. Let me know what you think in terms of the trailer. Are you happy to wait or do you demand it now? And also go and check out my other Transformers content on my YouTube channel. There's plenty of it. There's Autobot, Decepticon, and Ultimate Battles on my channel. And there's also all the details regarding Bumblebee, the movie, and we've also got Transformers Talk 2. So, get involved, hit that notification bell, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, and if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. All that's left to be said is please rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Delzinski signing out.